Hi, this is Vikas Singh from Origin and today's video I am going to show you the installation and configuration of WSO server on Windows Server 2012 R2. So let's move. So what we can do by using the WSO, we can we can uh, uh, use the WSO to distribute the Windows update to our network. Uh, for, uh, our network directly by WSO server so the client which is uh, on our network like Windows 7 Windows 8 on any uh, operating system which is related to Microsoft can have the get the update from WSO server and they can report their status all the status of Windows update status to WSO server and we can generate report from WSO server to get the compliance report like how which server uh, which machine which server is updated with all the Windows update or which is not so we can we can do the windows update by centralized administration tool and we can also the monitor the health for the windows update by using the wso so let's move so here is our demo environment so we are going to use two a virtual machine in this uh, in this demo so the first machine is which is active active server you can see the host name is win2k12 dc01 which is which is running on windows server 2012 r2 and I have assigned 4GB RAM and my domain name is origin.co if I go here you can see this is the machine Win2K12 DC01 and domain name is origin.co and having 4GB of RAM and you can see here I have installed ActiveDacty and DNS Roller on this machine so this is basically a domain controller which is uh, which is serving the ActiveDacty domain services in our domain infrastructure and the second machine is we have a WSO server so the machine name is win2k12 hyphen wsource and this is also running a windows over 2012 r2 and you can see i have assigned 16 gig of ram to this machine and this machine is also part of domain so for now we uh, uh, what we have done we have just installed this machine this is a bare metal machine i have uh, just installed i have not done any configuration or uh, join this machine in domain so we are going to do this now and then we can install a wsource role so uh, before anything proceeding i need to change the ip address to put the static ip address i am going here then on ethernet 0 i am going to put my ip address which is given in slide 192.168.1.253 and the subnet mask and the default gateway would be 192 if we don't have default gateway on this network I will add another adapter to get the network so this is my domain um, uh, DNS IP address so click OK to save this now we can go ahead and join this machine in domain so I'm going to try this now so I'm going to rename this machine first so it's going to be a win2k win2k12 double source uh, the domain name origin.co and hit enter it will ask you the credential to join this machine in domain so I'm going to put my domain admin credential to join this machine in domain so welcome to the origin.co domain so I'm going to reboot this machine now you can see the machine is getting rebooted so hit control to Dell to log into machine now I'm going to log in with my domain credential here so I'm going to create one active active domain credential to log into WSO server so on the users I'm going to put here like WSOS admin and put the credential here and one more thing I, I want to move this machine which is uh, by default goes in uh, computer so move it to servers So machine is moved now. So we have also WSOS account. So I'm going to use this WSOS admin to log into WSOS server. So now we are on server manager and we are ready to install a WSOS role. So to install a WSOS role, we need to click on manage 
and add role and features click next and WCS is a basically a role based installation so we need to select the role based or feature based installations click next now if we have a server win 2 get 12 WCS artisan .co, click next and if you go down you can find here Windows Server Update Services if I click on WSUS it's going to give us message like uh, we need to add some required feature also so which is basically an IS server which we need to install so if I click add <coughs> so we'll get the add role and feature so you can see it's going to install a uh, IS feature and some management tool on the server so we are good to go click add and click next so click next and we have a double source click next and we, it's going to install a double source services and uh, windows windows based uh, database so we are good to go click next and where you want to save the path data for the double source so I'm going to make this one double source folder in C drive so in a production environment you always have to create a WSS folder and some different uh, drives so I'm going to use C drive as this is a demo so click next and we have IS role here so it's going to install the IS fee few IS features so I'm going to leave the default everything on here on features so click next and we have a now confirmation place we can go ahead and click on install now it will install start the installation and it will install two roles WSOS and IS role on our server so the installation is going to take few minutes here so we need to wait for few seconds so now you can see the installation is completed configuration required so I am going to launch the post country uh, post uh, installation task so you can see please wait while the server is configured so if you want to monitor the task you can s go here and under if you click on task you can see the post information configuration wizard is running and the feature installation is completed already so we need to wait for few minutes here till the time this post deployment configuration is not completed and on screen you can see the um, dashboard you can see the IS manager and WSS role is installed so we are good to go just we need to wait for few seconds here or few minutes to get the complete this uh, post deployment configuration then after this we can go ahead and configure the WSS server settings so now you can see the post configuration is uh, is completed we can go ahead and close this and close this also and now we can go to tools and we can launch this windows server update services and here you can see we have a windows server update service configuration wizard so click next and if you want to join you can join so I'm not going to join this um, Microsoft update improvement program as this is a demo environment so click next and we have a proxy setting like upstream server setting upstream server means where from where you are going to sync this uh, WSO server if you have any uh, previous uh, WSO server in your infrastructure you can put the IP address and it will take the port number and you can sync with the uh, existing WSO server in your infrastructure and also you have option to synchronize from Microsoft update so I'm going to use the Microsoft updates click next and if you have a, a using any proxy server between your internet and uh, WSO server you can use the pop, uh, put the proxy authentication here so click next and we have a language and now we can uh, click on a start connecting so this is going to take the uh, connect with the Microsoft and it will try to get these information like type of updates available protect the uh, products that can be updated and we have a uh, available language pack all so this process is going to take some time like around five minutes so we have to uh, wait for till the time it's done then we can go ahead and configure the further settings so it's, uh, till the time this wizard is running I want to show you the configuration configuration of the group policies for WSUS 
to create a group policy for WSOS to force your client on client over the your domain or network to get the uh, Windows update from WSOS server you need to go to settings of the group policy management and you can create one group policy like called WSOS and then you can click on edit and you can modify the settings so I'm going to click on edit and if you see here on a computer configurations I need to go to policies administrators tools then we have a windows component under the windows component we have a windows update so here you can see we have a windows update double click it and you can see we have a several uh, group policy which we can configure to get the windows update from WSO server so the first thing I'm going to do here is specify the intranet Microsoft update service locations so if I click double click here and see we need to put the IP address here so set the intranet the update service for detecting update so I'm going to put here the IP address 192.168.1.253 and, and also you need to put the like the HTTP colon slash slash and you can put the port number which is being used by the this WSO server so so by default for HTTP we have a port number 8530 and for HTTPS we have a 8531 so I'm going to use the HTTPS and click apply and click OK so we have configured the uh, update uh, to get the client update from this WSO server which we have just configured and we have also update here like configure automatic updates so what you want to set to your client so configure automatic updates we have a few options like notify for download and notify to install and auto download and notify to install and auto download and schedule the install so the best way to keep this auto download and schedule the install to get the compliance so I'm going to put here like every you can say every Thursday I'm going to put and the time will be like 12 p.m. and click apply so what is uh, this machine is going to do this GPU is going to auto update the win uh, uh, like a Windows update from the WSO server and then it's going to apply on Thursday every Thursday and 12 p.m. so good to go and click OK now we have a few other settings also so always automatically restart the schedule time so you can schedule the restart how many times it's going to force the give the message to client machine to reboot so you can set it like 120 minutes so it's going to ask uh, the computer screen to reboot your computer on every 120 minutes so we have few other setting here so these are the basic three uh, GPU which we need to configure to get the WSOS working so you can see this is still running so I'm going to take the do the GP update to get this GPU here on my WSO server to just verify it's working GPU is working or not I have done the GP update slash force and now going to check the result so now if I go here on um, group policy results you can see on computer on this computer the group policy is applying for WSOS which we have just created from our active directory server so we are good to go close this and also you can see we have checked for Windows update and now you can click next and we have uh, all the language here which we can go so I'm going with default English and we can select the product which you want to make the updates take the updates so I'm going to uh, select like few operating systems here 
like I'm going to select Windows 10 and Windows 8.1 and click next now we have a critical definition ruler pack security so whatever you want to select you can select so I'm going to select like critical definition and the security updates and click next now when you want to synchronize manually or automatic so uh, synchronization means when you want to check with the further this windows uh, update server with the microsoft to get the new update so i'm going to leave it like synchronize per day one and i'm going to make it like three am three a.m. daily so good to go click next and now we can initiate the synchronization right now and you can do it uh, it will initiate automatically once the time is scheduled so click on finish and now you can see we have a windows update server update manager portal and we can check for the windows and have, uh, all the things now we can go to synchronization and we can do the synchronization right now and you can see now its synchronization is running and it will check with the Microsoft to get the all the new update for the product which we have selected like Windows 10 and Windows 8.1 so this is all about the you can see we we have got few updates here and if I go to option synchronization you can see the 15% synchronization is uh, is done and if you go here you can see how much like we have received the update which is got synchronized so this is all ab about the windows double uh, source server so if you need our help to set up a windows server double source server for you you can contact us our contact details is given below thank you for watching bye bye